Well, hello everybody. This is Arvermel47 coming to you from Dallas, Texas. Today is June the 13th, 2011, and it is 12:02 p.m. Just about high noon here in Dallas. That'd be Central Time. Um, I'd made some posts last night uh, about the uh, volcano erupting in Eritrea, uh, which is actually um, right on the border of Ethiopia. And I just wanted to kind of give a, a kind of a quick update on this because it's it's just slowly being picked up today, uh, for as far as news goes. But the um, volcano itself is down in this area here because this is Ethiopia, here is Eritrea it happened right along in here, this is to give you an idea of uh, kind of where things are again, here's the Red Sea Saudi Arabia over here, Yemen uh, again Ethiopia, Sudan, there's Egypt then we have uh, uh, Jordan, here's Israel right here and then the south of Syria, this is Iraq and of course Iran over here uh, again the volcano is down in this area and I'll uh, show you a better look at it here in just a second but this is just to kind of get your bearings here uh, so again Gulf of Aden Red Sea Suez Canal Mediterranean here uh, an important waterway for uh, many reasons but uh, and I'm sure again this is going to be picked up by some major media here before too long I would assume it would be I mean it did happen in a very remote area there's not that many uh, towns and cities in that this area of Africa and um, it there's t it's hard to tell right now if there's been any damage and it's still kind of back and forth as to which volcano it is just because some of the clouds are um, obscuring the area now so for satellite photographs it's kind of difficult uh, a team of miners uh, there's a bunch of miners down in Djibouti uh, because there's been a big uh, mining operation that just started up down here they're going to head up to this area and do some checking out because again they know that they understand uh, a lot of the what am I trying to say uh, geo geo stuff I, I I can't my I've lost what I'm trying to think of uh, anyway it's, it's Monday morning p people I'm sorry Monday morning here anyway in in the United States anyway a team of miners is going up to the area to hopefully give us a better look at what's going on okay here's the infrared satellite uh, photograph loop uh, and this comes from uh, sat24.com and it is copyrighted by them so you, you need to realize that uh, this is the Euromet and Met Office that puts this out but it again this is a, a property of sat24.com uh, it's a good European satellite uh, imagery when you're looking for some okay here's of course the continent of Africa uh, Saudi Arabia as I pointed out here's the Red Sea uh, Ethiopia, Eritrea. It's, again, it's very hard to see here, um, just because the clouds are beginning to come up here. And then this is the Sudan, Egypt, um, Saudi Arabia again. Um, let's see. This would be uh, Jordan and Israel, and uh, these areas here. So um, here's the ash plume, which is it's m made it a good ways. I mean, it's just it's not even been I don't believe 24 hours since the eruption happened, and the plume has already made it into uh, southern Egypt. So the forecast right now is for this to come up and then get caught in the westerlies that come across the more northern sections here because we're talking about this is the long pretty much right along the uh, equator so um, this is known as the intertropical convergence zone so we've got air from the southern hemisphere that comes up to meet air from the northern hemisphere and this is where our clouds form in fact this is where we get a lot of our hurricanes form just because are they the beginnings of hurricanes that start 
uh, across uh, central sections of Africa and then come off the coast. We call that the Cape Verde season because here's the little Cape Verde Islands over here. Anyway, I digress. Uh, again, the plume is visible here and parts of it may drift more easterly and maybe even southeasterly according to one of the forecasts. That may just be the cone of error but it looks pretty much right now that there's been a good southeasterly flow that's caught this ash uh, cloud and has begun to bring it up and again it will begin to curl in this way and uh, start affecting probably some air traffic in fact uh, I know Lufthansa flights to Ethiopia have been cancelled right now just because of the ash, con ash concentration in the area and uh, the forecast is for this to make it into uh, it will, or it's going to uh, travel affect travel to Saudi Arabia, Jordan, and Israel. So again, areas here need to keep an eye out uh, if you're traveling into that area for flight cancellations. Um, the fact that this volcano has gone off, depending on which one it is, and it, it's pretty much for sure that this is the um, Nabro volcano. Now there's uh, three volcanoes in in this area here, uh, and this is one of them that has not ever gone off in in our current history. So for at least you know a couple of hundred, a couple of thousand years, who knows when the last time it erupted? I mean, there's a crater there. We had earthquakes that went up until the eruption yesterday and it is along a, a tectonic zone so there's a lot of plate movement but again it's just an interesting phenomenon I mean I, again being a science geek I you know what can I say I just can't help but like think things are interesting when something hasn't gone off you know in recorded history and it's going off uh, that's that's a, a pretty uh, amazing thing uh, originally I had even posted that it was looking like um, it was the oh the um, the hello uh, Dubai video. It's hard for me. I, I, I'm probably chopping these words up. I don't say these towns very often because uh, I pretty much pay attention too much to the United States weather and geological things and. So I'm not really versed in some of the other countries as to how to say them, but again, and that volcano had gone off in, I believe, uh, 1861 was the last time it had erupted. Uh, the third one in the pack, I don't know much about, and I'm not going to sit here and even try to pronounce the name right now. So, again, of the three, uh, if this is the uh, Dubro, uh, Nubro volcano, Again, it's never recorded. It's never been an eruption in our recorded history right now. So, uh, very interesting stuff going on. I believe I can do a zoom in here. So this is a close up. Um, again, the volcano would be located right in this area. Again, Eritrea is this little country right here, and then this is Ethiopia. So the volcano is there, uh, right on the border. This is the ash cloud itself. And as you can see, again, it's kind of getting clouds and everything over here, so it's really kind of difficult to see much more. Um, this being Ethiopia, Somalia, and let's see, this would be Yemen here. Again, here's the Red Sea. The Sudan is here. Um, again, just a kind of a close up to give you a, a better idea of how the uh, stream is moving again. This is uh, again compliments of uh, sat24.com. Uh, first, the, if you want European uh, imagery, great place to go. Now, here's a quick look at uh, it's a modeling uh, of ash concentration, and this would be for flight levels at 35,000 to 55,000 feet. Where in this area, a lot of airliners would be flying that that high as, as they uh, traverse the area. Uh, concentration is high in this area and as I said it kind of dumbbells out here and that's just 
like a cone of uncertainty. It's kind of like a hurricane forecast. But again, this is the Sudan, and there's lots of uh, going to be lots of ash fall in this area. Reaches up into uh, the southeastern sections of Egypt, across the Red Sea, and then into uh, northern Saudi Arabia. Now, this forecast is actually for uh, it'd be uh, midnight in the United States time tonight, Central time for me. So this is the forecast for uh, it's 06 Zulu uh, for June the 14th, which again would be uh, midnight here in uh, the central United States. So uh, again, a, d a decent ash cloud and a decent event that is ongoing over there. Uh, it does continue to erupt and again, as more information comes in, um, hopefully we'll get to see what else is going on with it. Um, What's going to be interesting is to see uh, if it is a continuous eruption. It will start affecting air traffic in even larger areas. And also, what's it going to do for uh, our hurricane season here in the States? So, see, got something new to add into our mix. Anyway, y'all take care and have a good one.